Coming back home, South African music supergroup Freshly Ground is back with a bang and some controversy with that. The groups released a song mocking the country's current political climate. The song is titled Banana Republic, while well, Freshly Ground lead singer Zolani Mahola joins me from our Cape Town studios to discuss the song, the thinking behind it and who exactly wrote the lyrics. Zolani, good morning and thank you for your time this morning. Um, I suppose uh, many people wondering about whether Freshly Ground is now making the transition or sort of relaying labeling itself as a music activist. Huh, what an interesting thing. I think um, something to point out is that we've always had social political messaging in all of our music from from across all of our, al of our five albums. And I think maybe the last time we had such an overt political message was to do with uh, Robert Mugabe in Zimbabwe with a, with a song called Chicken to Change. All right, so tell us about this one. Tell us about Banana Republic. And of course, just looking at some of uh, the song's lyrics, I'm just going to give an example of what we've got. Governor, look me in the eye. See, I'm a human too. Beware, mama, the school is burnt to the ground. End of knowledge, church is out. Very interesting. Uh, if I have to carry on, oh, most powerful, baptize me with fire, make me holy too. Emergency, insecurity, no opportunity. It's just another day in the Banana Republic. The thinking, give us some insight into those lyrics. So I wrote those lyrics um, after really feeling quite dispirited by, by our, our leaders seeming um, not, lack of care really mm. about what their mandate is, which is to serve the people. Um, I mean, you, you go into our townships and, and the situation is beyond dire in many, in many of our townships, you know, and, and these are the people who have been who are so adversely affected by apartheid. And now we have this leadership which is supposed to give hope. You know, we have this leadership which is supposed to, to be caring about the people and wanting to take people out of the situations. In, instead, what's happening is our leaders are taking the money out of our, our pockets. You mm -hmm. know, they're taking our money out of the pockets of the very poor. So uh, th this song, it is a protest song. It is a song that is hugely, hugely, uh, we, uh, we're angry. We're angry at the government and we're saying, please listen to us. We are the people. We are supposed to be the people that you are serving. So it's not an anti-Zuma song, as some people might think it is. Is it, is it a call to the leadership? Is it a sort of a, 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 a it's def take, it's take note of what's happening on the ground in song? It certainly is. I mean, our president is, is the figurehead, you know, and he, and he has been implicated in, in plenty of scandals. So he's def he certainly um, can be seen as, as a figurehead for, for, for the major corruption that is going on in the leadership, for sure. Mm. Um, you said in a recent interview that people should take a look at the video. I myself have not seen the video, but what is it about the video that you think is going to get their attention? We're showing some of it now. I think, I think there's a desperation that comes across in the video that I feel that many, many South Africans are feeling. Um, not, not just uh, as people, you know, kind of portray it, not just maybe the, the affluent uh, white South Africans, but, you know, I think people across the board. I mean, my, my dad has such, had such a hope in the ANC, you know, and he's one of the people who, for whom I wrote this, these lyrics. You know, he's, he's one of those people who, my dad, my father, you know, a Kosa man, you know, strong Kosa man, was a boy, you know, in, under apartheid, you know, and now, and now with this new, new government, with, with, with the ANC, you know, with, with the Rainbow Nation, there was such a spirit of hope, you know, and such a, such a feeling that things would, would change, you know, and that we would be seen as human beings. But, the, but I don't feel that. You know, I don't feel that from leadership. No, I don't. Zolani, what's been the reaction you've received from your fans to the song? And also, I mean, have you had any feedback from, uh, from the actual people that you're criticizing in, this, in the song and in this video? Um, no, we haven't had any direct um, criticism, and I mean, I guess maybe I'm waiting for the shoe to drop. We did, um, we did release this video on Freedom Day, mm. and the song is still available as a free download um, to anybody. You can just go to our site, freshlyground.com. Yeah, check out the video on YouTube. It's Banana Republic. We haven't, we have, we haven't heard yet, yet anything from, from leadership. No. All right, and your fans, what do they have to say about it? The fans love it. The fans love it. I mean, uh, by and large, I think it's been about 98% quite positive. Mm -hmm. And our fans, as you, as you may or may not know, are, are really broad, 
cross-section of South Africans, you know, it's really everybody. Um, it's not like I can just say it's, it's township people, you know, who, who, who like freshly ground music or, you know, white suburbia, you know, or, or, or only Indians or only young or only old. It's quite a cross-section of people and we've overwhelmingly been pretty positive. All right, well, it is quite a video just looking at what we're seeing here this morning. And Zulani, will there be more of the same coming from Freshly Ground? Mm, we'll see. I mean, we've, we're a band that's very eclectic in, in, in terms of the genres that we, that, we, um, that we play, you know, in terms of the, the subject matters and things. So I, I would say that you can definitely expect us to, to expect to hear a voice. I mean, we've, we've, we've always, we're always quite strongly championing something or other, mm. but, it's, but it's a cross-section. I mean, it's, it's, it's a whole, it's, it's not, it won't just be pointed political mm. um, speak. Well, given uh, the, the development of things in the country, you certainly won't be short of lyrics if you were to do it again. Thanks very much for your time. Uh, Freshly Ground lead singer Zolani Mohola. She's in our Cape Town studios for us this morning.